with the design that we went here with side entry into all of the machines, and these Doosan machines enabled us to do that. So on the dual spindles, we made our own outer door cut out on the sides, and the five axes also had an outer door ready. So with us being able to go on side entry on all the machines, we were able to turn the machines and have them operator facing on the control side and front door is accessible. If anything needs to be changed, touched up, it's accessible to the operators to continue operation. One of my favorite subjects to talk about is automation based on where the industry is now and where the industry is going. Today, I have the pleasure to introduce to you Evitza from IC Automation and a beautiful cell that they've implemented here in Ohio. But we're gonna talk about the details of that. But first, we're gonna talk about IC Automation and Evitza. I would love to learn a bit more about who you cater to, what you guys do, what's unique about the company, and where we can go from there. Absolutely, well, Tony, thank you for having us on your show and give us the opportunity to show our cell and some of the work that we do. So IC Automation, we're a control systems integrator and we specialize in automation and robotics mainly. So we cater to all fields really in all industries, but a lot of the times we partner with a lot of machine distributors and we provide machine tooling work cells. Evita, at IC, if I'm a customer, am I going to be able to work with any robot I want to work with? How does that work through IC? Yeah, so us being independent helps us be open source on platforms when it comes to PLCs, robots, controllers, or even CNCs. So really, we decide what's best for the project or our customer's needs. Especially if a customer really uses a FANUC robot, we like to stick with the same platforms. If not, we recommend the best solution for the project. Makes all the sense in the world. I could definitely use some advice from time to time. So if I force the situation, that would be unfair. And in reverse, if you force the situation, it might be unfair. With that being said, let's talk about automation as a broad spectrum, from a bird's eye view, the significance. Where do you see the industry and the importance of automation? Oh, we definitely see it only growing and it's been making American manufacturers more and more competitive with the world. Because with automation, you have quality control, process control, and with our skill gap going on right now, the workforce really just is not there anymore for manufacturers. So it makes it a lot easier for a company to invest in automation and know exactly what they're gonna get out of their machine and their process. Totally agree, Vita, totally agree. And to that point and great segue, what are we looking at here? Based on a skills gap, this would have taken 18 people, I believe, which is now running three shifts, two on each shift, and six total people on a footprint that really fits inside of a building. But again, you're the expert. Let's learn some more about what you guys have all created here. Yeah, so this here is obviously an advanced manufacturing cell with full-blown automation. We have 11 machines set up, four robots, and we, we split the cell in two, so it's making a compact pistol. So on this slide cell, we have two robots running on a 19-meter rail and it's tending seven different CNC machines. So our design criteria for this cell over here was to be able to run a full shift unattended with a person and to bring a part in, raw part in, and get a completed part out. So we were able to achieve that by dividing this into two different parts. So we're running the slide and we're running a chassis. And on the slide cell, we're running seven machines with two robots that are attached to a 19 meter rail so we could achieve this footprint. All right, Evita, something else that's really important, I know it's a focus of yours as well, is we're talking about footprints of the overall machine setup and the ability to do offsets on the machines individually from the robots. Would you mind going into more detail about that? Yeah, absolutely, Tony. So one of the main things that we worked on designing in this cell was to absolutely have the automation run without interrupting operations on the machines. So if an operator needs to make an offset on the controller, they're accessible without shutting the automation down as well as that they do tool changing. So all the tool changing is accessible and it could call out and automation can work, especially when you have a system like this with 11 machines. You don't want to shut down 10 machines because of one. That's pretty impressive, I gotta say, Evita. When I think about getting something done, and, and it's multiple operations, but in one setup where I put it into a drawer, it comes out of another drawer and it's completed. But something else I like about this system is it's running hard steel and you have redundant tooling I know it's Doosan and Ellison's that's working with the machines and you have the robotics, but you set up the robotics that it allows for all of these machines and, and robots to communicate amongst themselves and then have a finished part and ready to go. Exactly, so we, we really achieve that. We like having the operator always interact through one touch screen, which is our HMI, and we have our controls work as a central controller for the whole cell. And then 
obviously with the different operations that we're running, even on this slide cell, we're doing four different operations of machining. So these robots and the work holding, they're turning these parts and flipping them four different times so that the machines could actually access all four dimensions of the part. You know, I heard a rumor one time, Ibiza, it said, in order to make something really simple, it comes from a very complicated place. And I know what you're building has a lot going on, but for me, if I was to use this screen, how simple is it from this interface? Well, the feedback that we always get back, it's easy as using an iPhone. So we make everything very intuitive. It's visual, it's descriptive, and you know exactly what to do. You're not touching a teach pendant of a robot, going to the machine controls if you don't need to. Everything the operator needs to do to interact with the cell is right here. That makes sense to me. So now we've got everything running up and going, but let's say that for whatever reason, uh, we need to have a camera measuring something, looking at something, making sure it's all running smoothly. Is that all adapted as well? Do we have sensors and lasers and all of these components? Yeah, absolutely. Even on the chassis cell, we're using a, a mechanical gauge where we're actually checking critical dimensions of the part. Over here, we're using a 3D dimensional camera as well to feed the robot's placement on, on the pallet and the tray where parts are at. But if we wanted to add an inspection, which we will be doing to this cell, we could do visual inspection and any other kind of gauging. Impressive, brother. Impressive. So last question I have for you, and I'll let you go about your regularly scheduled program because I know you're a busy guy, is this is all developed because we want to run 24-7 all the time. We have all the systems in place to allow it to do that per shift, three shifts. But let's say something does go wrong. I know how much you value service and support. What does service and support mean to you at IC Automation? Oh, it's everything. That's where we dedicate ourselves to is servicing our customers, and that's why being local and non-local, we have our guys ready to go. We have E1s where we can remote into all our PLC controls and into full systems, and we're here for service. That's what we provide. That's the only thing that we provide and sell is service. Well, now that everyone picked up their cell phone to give you a call, where can they actually call you? What's your website? Because you know our phones do everything these days. You can It's a computer, yes, right? Exactly. Now I sound like an old man talking about a cell phone, but at the same time, how can we find you? You can find us on all social media as IC Automation, and our website is simply i-c-automation.com. Perfect, Davisa. I appreciate it. You are amazing. I appreciate your time sharing with the audience what's going on here at Little Mountain and your technology and your company. You're amazing. Thank you, Tony.